Okay, pick one, round three. We are going to go with drum roll. Oh, how do I spell it? Virtua Fighter 2. Uh, I can, I can it's, see it, but... It's going to look it. like ass now. Probably. I mean, but... all of everything's going to look like ass, but... Oh, no, uh, no. Some, these, a lot of these sprites of this era yeah, no, still look good today. It's, it, uh, that is true. This that is going to be an HD remake. HD remakes. <laughs> it's gonna look like very good polygons. Yeah, you know, we said the same thing, but then they did wind up putting Intelligent Cube on the shit box of a, a PlayStation, PlayStation thing. Yeah. yeah, and that's probably the only worthwhile game on that machine. Well, it's down to like twenty bucks, so I think you could probably melt on the copper. Thirty. I picked one up to that. For for just got one for thirty bucks. Thirty dollars was, was my trigger. Was that thirty flat or was it like thirty nine ninety nine? Thirty dollars free shipping. Have you played nice. it at all yet? Uh my girlfriend's brother has a hacked one and I played around with his a little bit and it's it's worth thirty, especially if you throw your own stuff on there. Did you play uh, yeah. Siphon Filter yet? Because that was one of my favorite PlayStation games. I did not play Siphon Filter. It's a really good game. That's actually <laughs> a series I skipped entirely. Uh, you're missing out. I bought oh, a, you know, I'm, I got one coming up. Filter in Yugoslavia. All right, Steve. You're up. All right, I'll go for the throat on this one. I'm going to say Battletoads. Even though it's on the Rare Replay collection, it's owned by Microsoft. Yeah, I don't give Steve a Steve doesn't care about any of that shit. If you've watched any of our drafts before, he just picks <laughs> things that are owned by companies that will never put it on and then argues that it's going to be there. Oh, Mom? no, I don't, I don't give a shit. It was on my list of games I've played and I had fun with and I want to see on there. I oh, don't I'm, have any consideration for any of these. I'm going to make an intellectual property nightmare pick soon, but I, I fucking want to talk about this game. But uh, um, save that Shaq one. Fu? It is not Shaq Fu. Shaq Fu is <laughs> definitely going to be on there, but I'm not throwing that pick out there yet. I'm going to go with Vector Man. I'm still trying to stick with like pretty well-known games. Oh, you cock. That's what Ask Jeeves said. Ask Jeeves. <laughs> It's just ask.com now. They got rid of Jeeves. Was that on the GeoCities Jeeves? website that you just looked up? Jeeves died. They didn't get rid of him. He was like 104. Do you have a Vector Man game there, Jeff, that we can see? I don't have Vector Man. Killing me. That was the late. Co the copy that I have on the screen, it says pay or play to win in $25,000. They must have been running some kind of contest to like be the first person to beat Vector Man. And the only thing I remember about Vector Man is it had super smooth character animation for being a ball guy. Yeah, it might have tried it on or... Sega Channel. Now that I think about it, did you have Sega Channel? God I did damn. not. A uh, one of my later picks I found on Sega Channel, but uh, <laughs> our friends up the street, their mom worked for Comcast, and they had Sega Channel for free thrown in with their company discount. So that's where we would be on Friday nights, just playing some Sega Channel. That's awesome. Drinking some surge. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Oh yeah, back when diabetes wasn't a concern. <laughs> Did right. that actually work? Like, oh yeah, it was really, it was really good Sega system. Channel. Yeah, I only ever encountered it once my whole life, and we were at like a hotel or something like that that had it as an option. But you got and you went with Spice it. instead of uh, <laughs> Sega. I was like eight, so probably not. So definitely. <laughs> All right, Jeff, you're up. Boom. Strider. Play it. Strider? Strider. It's a weird, like, uh, Soviet mech ninja side-scroller. Uh, you're, you're all looking at me like you've never heard of this before. So, yeah, don't take anything I say. Just fucking play it. You play that first stage, and that song will be stuck in your head. I'm doing it now. It's just playing over and over up here. But yeah, so apparently not much of a, not much of a, <laughs> not much uh, to talk about there, I guess. Not much to talk about there, yeah. All right. Pick it's four. Fucking great. Go for it. Uh, this is the game I played on Sega Channel, and it has a fantastic single player campaign and some of the best couch multiplayer you will find. Mega Bomberman for the Sega Genesis. Yeah. Fucking love this game. I played it on Sega Channel. Uh, and went out the next day with my allowance that I had cobbled together and bought this game. Good stuff. Did not play... I played Bomberman on my TI-83 graphing calculator. This is quite a graphical leap from what you have seen. Uh, now it's got a full single-player campaign where you gotta uh, 
clear all the tiles out and get to the end. It's fucking harder than it looks. Uh, before they started adding weird anime eyes to all the characters and bad voice acting, <laughs> it's right in the sweet spot of perfect couch co op. Bomberman games are are always a ton of fun to play with other people. So I can I can see that one. Two two controllers are coming in the box with this. They gotta put some two player games in there. So good bet. I've taken the uh, liberty of trying to figure out what you meant by, you know, licensing nightmare. And I thought, what the hell? I'm gonna go with Pulse Man, mainly because it's made by Game Freak, and they're pretty much a Nintendo company now. Yeah, but so, Sega's a little bit of a whore that likes to release on everything now. So I think there's a good chance that they, if they really wanted Pulse Man, they could get it. Wait, Pulse what the Man? fuck did you pick? What game is that? Pulse I've never Man. heard of it. I don't know what it is. I just know the Game Freak made it. It was one of those things that, like... Yeah, I'm, I'm defending your head. pick, and you have no idea what it is. No, no, I have no <laughs> idea what it is. It's just one of those pieces of trivia that's like, what was Game Freak's first game, or early Game Freak game? It's Pulse Man. I don't know. What was on there? Okay. No, I'll, I'll, I'll do my... What type I'll of game do... was it, Jeff? Uh, I believe it's a side-scroller platformer. I mean, that's pretty much I... every Sega game, other than the yeah. sports game. It's either a fighting game, a side-scroller, or a sports game. Uh, yeah, it's kind of like Mega this, Man. This description: It is Mega Man meets Sonic the Hedgehog. All right. Uh, I accidentally didn't pick this off my list. Didn't highlight it for grabbing, and I'm really glad I reviewed it because uh, Kid Chameleon. Yeah, That's gonna be on there. The Absolutely game. gonna be on there. That's it's one of those weird where the fuck do I go type of games because you just keep teleporting from stage to stage, and there's no real coherent, like, how did I just teleport to the end, the middle? Where am I supposed to go? What am I supposed to do? Sometimes you wind up, like, looping through stages, but uh, it was sort of like this weird side-scroller where you just wear different hats as your power-ups, and it was still fucking kind of weird and out there, but it was really, really good. All right. Not a bad pick. You're actually picking some games that Sega actually made and published, so you might have a chance of getting more than one point this time. We could all well, do better than last time. Yeah, it, if they don't, like, hire fucking dumbasses and shit the bed, <laughs> sure. Uh, the, the people that made the Sega Aegis collect in, collection that are on Switch right now, and which sure. are remarkable, like, fantastic boards. collections of, like, carefully made games where they put all like the original instruction manuals in there and they put like the game soundtrack. So yeah. I, I trust these guys to make a good system. I, I actually have faith in this one just because uh, uh, they do keep doing tons and tons of re-releases on like everything. Like Steam has had Sega collections and Sega individual games for a long time and they prioritize like the the good hot sellers and then like fan favorites. So uh I think we'll see a good number of like actual games that people loved and liked and not just either straight top sellers or like a handful of top sellers and then the rest of it is just scraping the barrel and jank like Sony did. Nice. Right. My uh pick four is gonna be uh Double Dragon. I guess the first one. Just cause it covers Better. four games. So I think that's a solid pick. <laughs> <laughs> better on the NES. Uh, maybe. Say, maybe. Definitely. But, uh, Definitely. You know, who knows? Who knows? It could be on there. Like I said, there's four different Double Dragon games, so mm. I feel like I, I cover my bases. You but, you uh, you happy with yourself on that one? That's like 5% <laughs> of the Sega catalog right there in one pick. Almost. Almost. But, uh, yeah. We'll go with Double Dragon, definitely. Um, I always like the fighting your, you know, going to co-op and then having the fighting game at the end. That was really cool. I think. Uh, let's see. My fifth pick. Let's uh, let's go with Road Rash, I guess. Good pick. The first it's one. An underrated, underrated game. I think that. I mean, everybody played Road Rash. Yeah. No, definitely a solid game. But would the uh, I guess it wouldn't matter. You'd cover the series, but they go with one or two. Uh, I guess one. I don't know. I don't think I ever played the second or the third one. I think there's three. Uh, I will I will throw this out there now because I'm not going to pick it. But it's a sister to Road Rash, also made by Electronic Arts, called Skitchen. <laughs> Skitchen. Where you you ride rollerblades on the street. Ooh, that sounds like fun. 
and you grab onto the back of cars to get a speed boost. But it's a rollerblade racing game. And if it's no, it's rollerblades. It's been fucking years since I played this game. I was like, is it skateboards or roller? No, it's rollerblades. And it's absolutely a product of the 90s. I was going to say it was 1993, so it was definitely <laughs> rollerblades. Yeah. But I wanted to throw that up there because there's no way in hell that's getting picked. No. But yeah, it deserves to be run, very quickly running out of games that I've ever heard. It of deserves to be stuff. talked about an era where Electronic that's... Arts wasn't the most hated fucking company in the world. That's why we're only doing nine games, not fifteen games this time, because there are, <laughs> there's not enough games to make solid picks for like fifteen rounds. It's just not gonna happen. But Steve. Uh, yeah, Steve, I, don't you're know. I I think we could do like ten or eleven because there's still a lot on here. But we'll see. Well, we're uh, only halfway go... through. So. I'm going to go Fantasy Star 4. Another safe pick where you're covering a series. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, there's a ton of them. Yeah. And... I think it's already do Fantasy Star. They did one of the Fantasy Star games already. So, Wait, what? what was that? The people that are making the box. I haven't decided whether or not the people, like the, the company that is making the box, they made Switch games, you know, already. For the a Sega Ages collection. Like, will, do they want to gobble up their you know, potential other profits on the Switch. I, I, I would say I don't think that one would count as much because there are improvements to the Switch version. There's uh, alternate uh, settings you can do, make it look better, play different. Uh, I don't think that would stop them. Plus, it's been out long enough that they could knock a game off of their list of 40 and not hurt themselves too much with licensing and still fill it up with a quality game. Fantasy Star 4. Holy crap. How yeah, long that a, name is. Uh, you're going to cut that down to just four. Yeah, it's one of those Japanese games that has like seven extra words on the end. The end of the millennium. All right. Um, Only because a new game recently just came out. I'm going to go with Wonder Boy. And oh, crap, there's more than one. Um... <laughs> See, that's why we pick games with series. Mm -hmm. Pick multiple uh, choices. But if you pick the right one, you get a full point. <laughs> Which is Wonder on, Boy in Monster World, Wonder Boy yeah. Five Monster World. I'm not sure if it's three or five, but I'm just going to take it back to Wonder Boy in Monster World. Yeah, that works. I really want somebody to make a game series that's numbered that they don't actually have the games for them. Like just make a Ikari Warriors one, and then make an Ikari Warriors like five, just as there, your second some, game. <laughs> somebody did that. That's uh, that reminds me of Mystery Science Theater episode, The Legend of Boggy Creek Two, which is <laughs> there was <first> no one <laughs> is the first movie in the series, but it is called The Legend of Boggy Creek Two. Nice. Not For the other no. nine Mystery Science Theater fans out there, none of which who watch our podcast. All right, Jeff. I'd like to, I'd like to say I watched Mystery Science Theater because I feel like I would like it, but I don't watch it. There are a hundred. Well, before they re-released re on Netflix, there's 199 episodes, and I have almost all of them on DVD to my left, with nice little cases that show the cast on the edge. It's a real fucking nerd thing I own, and it's the most embarrassing thing in this room, but I love it. Oh, yep. Okay. Actually, uh, I think your face clock is back there. That's that's pretty. Kevin cool. Malone is a gem. Jersey, but fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that jersey is definitely the most embarrassing thing. Yeah, those fucking five Stanley Cups they've won in my lifetime is so oh, embarrassing. You suck Next. so bad Next. that you get the first pick, the second pick, and then the first pick again, and you manage to hit on all three. Uh, if that were the case, we'd be talking about the Oilers nine Stanley Cups in a row, and they don't have that. But anyway, uh, I'm going to go Golden Axe because you're going to need some co op on this two controller beast. Uh, Golden Axe is another fun brawler that they released and re-released in so many different 4-in-1, 5-in-1 uh, Sega CD collection game. It's been released so many times for a reason, and it's because it's fun to... It's about as close as I would get as a child to D&D, where you play as like a barbarian or a dwarf and just fucking run house on some people. I've uh, never played this game, but I did have it in my list. I put Golden Axe, parentheses, three were made, must be okay, question mark? <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a good arcade-style side-scroller. Beat him up. Didn't want to pick it this high, but I knew, I knew it was coming up because there was three of them. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, you know, playing strategically. So you're playing to win. I'm playing to be like, oh, shit, I remember playing that. <laughs> All right, you got the uh, next pick again. 
here's my licensing nightmare because it is the best use of this character in any video game that we've had and that is castle of illusion starring mickey mouse disney owns everything uh... i'm sure they have a financial interest in the sega mini as well but it is a fucking gem also known as i love mickey mouse in japan kushigi no asoro I mean, if you want to get technical about it. Uh, sorry, you got to say the proper name. Um, but I'm pretty sure Mickey Mouse is going to buy this podcast at some point, so we might as well get trying. on the train now. We are trying. Anybody that would like to buy this podcast, hit me up, Dan, at GameNightNow.com. Um, it was a legit game. It's a really good game. Yeah. Yeah, there, there's a lot of Disney games that came out on Sega that I've... I mean, if you're going to pick that, sure. you might as well pick Aladdin, right? Yeah, Aladdin. Which, oh, Lion sorry. King. What a game. We're going to go Alex Kidd. Ah, uh, dick. Alex Watch Kidd Mojo's number Kidd. three pick. Castle. <laughs> hey, can you uh, back... They're, Watch back Mojo's probably going to copy our list, at least the top part of it, to make theirs. It's pretty good. What can if I they, ha they haven't done it yet. <laughs> Alex well, Kidd never played it. Never played it. We're going to start doing list videos and reaction videos and maybe some unboxings. Yeah. That seems to be where all the money's at. Mm -hmm. I can't wait till their editor is like, what the fuck is Pulse Man? <laughs> <laughs> it's Dan at Game Night Now's favorite game. Yeah. All and right. There'll be well, clips of us playing uncredited and like. First, find some footage because we don't know what it is and then we can put it up. I had heard of Pulse Man, I had not played Pulse Man. If right, you Steve. had said Pulse Man, I would have thought you meant Vector Man and corrected you if we hadn't already picked it. You're up, Steve. Uh, I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with Cool Spot. Interesting. 7-Up doesn't even recognize Cool Spot anymore, <laughs> but uh, why would you pick Cool Spot? <laughs> well, because Vector Man was taken, and I did play a shitload <laughs> of Vector Man, and it's basically the exact same game. But I think there's still a lot of love out there for people who played that back then. And it's right uh, in that nineties nostalgia. Yeah, I don't fun. know if the licensing would be a problem, but I also don't care because that's not really why I'm yeah, picking it's a, it. It's a red poker chip, but was there a Noid game on the Gen the Genesis too? Like could avoid the Noid. There definitely was one for the Super There was definitely Nintendo. a Noid game. <laughs> That's our gonna be our first list of Yo Noid developed by Capcom for the NES. Alright. Well, What's the uh, list... was the checks game on Sega Genesis? Was that, that, just a CD? That, that was a CD that came in the box for PC that I had. Okay, that was on the PC. <laughs> yeah, I had it too. By the way, I love corn Super Checks. If uh, Corn Checks wants to sponsor us, Kellogg's, hit me up. At no, Dan, no, no, no. Yeah, uh, Dan you, at uh, Game Night Now. You eat your dry ramen. How many? How many of those have you eaten, by the way? Uh, I have not opened your gift yet. I do apologize because I'm working so, through my own twelve pack that I bought for for your own health. That's a smart idea. <laughs> Wait, did you actually <laughs> cook one or not? I did. I put it in Discord. Right. I was can shamed I, into actually cooking my ramen. Can I ask? Did you, you like us it more or less? Dinner, but I couldn't tell if it was actually cooked. It looks like it was just sitting in water. Like yeah. there was no steam, no like, heat. I don't know how to do this. Do I just <laughs> add water and it's ready? <laughs> Uh, it's all, water. It's all right. I mean, you know, it is what it is. It's hot, you know, when you cook it. The way it's so meant to be. It, yeah, it burns my mouth sometimes. You have to wait. But now you you make it as hot as possible to cook it as fast as possible. Then you throw one ice cube in it and it cracks immediately. <laughs> but then you you keep pulling your soup out of that ice cube spot and it's the perfect temperature. Oh, maybe I'll try that next time. I've never heard it's of a, adding ice, ice into soup. Literal That's white funny. trash hack. <laughs> but it is how to eat scalding hot ramen. Uh, I guess Certainly not dry. For 10 seconds. If we're going for uh, licensing issues, I guess, on this uh, round of picks, I'm just going to pick NBA Jam. Solid choice. Mm. This is my dirty ass cartridge. <laughs> Hold on. Wait, wait, let me see it. Show it up again. NBA oh, Jam. <laughs> From way downtown. He's on fire. Fun fact, uh, that guy did a bunch of voiceovers for pinball tables, and I can't not hear his NBA Jam voice in these tables. <laughs> he just did voiceovers for something random, and now i got to figure out what it is. 
a lot of the late 90s Bally Midway, he did all the voiceovers for him. But, uh, yeah, NBA Jam. All right. It's a good pick. Yeah. I think Ra- maybe Rage 2 or Rage. Uh, he yes, he is in the Rage yeah. trailer. How many picks do we have left? Three? Three picks left. Okay. Three picks left. I got I to gotta get weird. so many games. I know. We got to do an honorable mentions after this.